Welcome back to Home Body, and this is the energizing yoga section. Don't worry, you don't need to be a yogi for this. It's a hybrid of strength moves, weightlifting warm-ups, and some phenomenal stretches. So basically, by the time you're done with this, you're just gonna feel amazing. Let's get started on the ground. Okay, so first off, we're gonna do leg lifts. You're gonna lay down. Arms at your sides, straight out, and lift your legs for 10 on one side. Kicking them up, nice long extension through the toe. Deep breaths. And now go ahead and switch to the other side. 10 of these. You might hear a little popping in the hips, don't worry about it. Just breathe, lift, extend through the leg. Deep breaths. And go ahead and turn this into a iron cross. Up and down. Kick up, cross it, and down. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Good. And now switch to the other side. Swing it up, cross it over, bring it back. You might get a few little pops here and there, little cricks and cracks. Don't worry, just breathe through it. This is gonna make your body feel so much limber when we're done. Give me five more. Deep breaths. And take it back to center. Nice, guys. And now we're gonna roll it over and go into the world's greatest stretch, which is basically just a deep lunge, okay? So, go ahead, hands are on the ground. If you have limited flexibility, by all means, bring your hands to your knee. If you've got extra mobility, I need you to bring your elbows to the floor, which Oh, there we go. It's gonna take me a minute, maybe on the second time around. So we're gonna do 10 reps, alternating sides. That's one, other side. Take a moment, see how far you can get into it. Switch it. And switch it. I want you to hold it for one deep breath before you switch. Switch it. Switch. Feels good to breathe, doesn't it? Inhale deeply. And switch. Four more on each side. Two more on each side. And one more each side. Take a nice big step. And bring it back to center. Now go ahead and walk your toes in towards your hands. Let your head go. Nod your head, yes. And then roll up slowly through the spine on a count of eight. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one, good. All right, standing here with feet shoulder width apart, bring your hands up as if you're holding a barbell. You can just bring your thumbs to your shoulders and go ahead and hinge in the hips, forward and up. Good mornings, we're gonna do 10 of these. And make sure you're breathing nice and deep. Warming up the back. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. Nice, now let's scoot those feet together. Mountain pose, bring your arms overhead, inhale, 
and then exhale and curving over to one side, pushing your hips opposite. Fingertips are reaching, reaching, reaching towards that wall. And now go ahead and bring it back to center and exhale. If you haven't already exhaled, now take another deep breath in. Inhale, grow taller as you exhale. Go over to the side, pushing your hips opposite getting a big stretch here, reaching towards the other wall, and now return back to center, growing taller as you do so, and bring your arms center right here. Bring your feet hip width apart. You can have a slight turnout on your feet, and reaching your arms overhead, draw your belly button in, and squat down for 10 reps here. Air squats with your arms overhead, basically. Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. And now we're gonna drop it back down, all the way down. You might need to get your feet a little bit wider for this one. Garland pose. Your elbows are the insides of your thighs and you're just holding this. Take a deep breath. Extend your spine from your tailbone to the top of your head. Nice. From this low squat, we're gonna go ahead and walk our hands out and get into a plank on our hands. Holding here, I want you to take a deep breath in. Exhale, lunging your right leg forward. Opening up on your left hand, you can drop that heel down. So this is like a modified warrior's pose. But if you don't do yoga, don't even worry about it. Just hold this, it's a rad stretch. Reach, 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 reach. And then come back with your hand to the floor. Put that foot back and give me three push-ups. One, two, three, great. And now bring the other foot up. Big, huge lunge, take a deep breath. And open up your opposite arm. You can drop your back heel for some stability. A little modified warrior pose. Reaching, reaching, reaching. If there are any yogis watching this and they're cringing at me calling it a warrior pose, I apologize. <sighs> then it's just a low lunge. Then it's just a low lunge stretch. And bring that hand back to the floor. Drop that foot back and give me three push-ups again. And now, once more, I want you to lunge forward, and this time, we're gonna do same arm and do a little twist. Low lunge twist, reach, reach, reach. Enjoy it. If you want to, you can take this arm behind you. Oh yeah. And really open up in that shoulder. Looking to the ceiling, take a deep breath in. And then bring that hand back to the floor. Drop that foot back. Give me three push-ups again. Here we go. Two. Three, and then lunging forward on the other leg. This is the last time, I promise. And twist and reach, reach, good. And if you really wanna open up that shoulder, get a little more mobility there, wrap it around, and look at that ceiling. Notice the cobwebs, you'll have to clean later. But right now, we're doing body work, not housework. And bring it back to the floor, put that foot back, and push-ups, here we go. One, two, Three, nice work. Now hold this plank for a moment. Now we're gonna go into some down dogs. If you think you're gonna slip on your carpet, grab a yoga towel or grab a yoga mat or put some sticky glue on your hands. Whatever you gotta do so that you're not gonna slide out. Hands down, back in that plank, lifting your hips and lifting through your tailbone, pushing through your hands and elongating through the spine, that is it. Nice work, hold that there. And now transition it into an up dog. You don't have to do a full chaturanga yet. I just want you to drop your hips and enjoy this for a moment. Maybe even wiggle a little. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, go back to down dog. Oh yeah. And again, dropping down to up dog. We're just working through that spine right now. We're gonna get a little fancy here in a second. Now go back to down dog, turn it into a dive bomber or a chaturanga. Here we go. Take it down and back up. Inhale, exhale. And back up. Inhale, exhale. 
and back up. We've got two more. Inhale, exhale. And back up. Inhale one more time. Exhale. And back up last time. Good, and let's wrap that up with a little child's pose here. Just to recover, those dive bummers can be a mofo. Working through that low spine. Take a deep breath in here before we move on. And exhale. Now putting your weight back in your hands, tuck your toes under, come back up into that down dog. Lift through the tailbone. And now I want you to lift your right leg up and reach and reach and reach to the ceiling, pushing through your hands. Go ahead and bend that right knee, open it up, feel that stretch, take a deep breath here. Now pull that right leg through, and I want you to drop your left heel and lift your right hand and both arms reach hold here, nice deep warrior pose. Now taking your left arm, wrap it behind you, and with the right arm, reach forward and up, Get a good arch here, inhale, exhale. Circle your arms back to the floor and shoot that leg back. Give me a little chaturanga here, dropping to the floor and a little push up. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Now we're just gonna do that whole thing on the other side, okay? Left leg reaches up to the ceiling, sky high, reach, 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 reach. Bending your left knee. Inhale into that stretch. Exhale, bring that leg forward into a nice deep lunge. Okay, you can drop your right heel to the floor for some extra stability. Now peeling your hands off the ground. You've got a low warrior here. Now take that back arm, wrap it around and palm facing the ceiling. Inhale, arching, big huge breath, good morning. And exhale, circle your arms back to the floor, shoot back into the plank position, and drop your knees into child's pose. All right, guys, great job. That's the most yoga I'm gonna sneak into this routine. Now we're gonna hit side planks. Go ahead and put your elbow down. We're gonna do them on our elbow. You can do feet stacked or apart if you need more stability. And go ahead and bring your hand to your hip. And hold this for a moment, get your balance, and then start dipping your hip down and up. I want 10 of these. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, go ahead and swivel. Other side, other elbow down. Feet stacked or apart into a more stable stance. Hand on the hip and drop your hip to the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There you go. Go ahead, drop that hip and come to your stomach here. We're gonna do baby cobra to warm up the back. We're already pretty warm, so just a little baby cobra here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Now go back down to your face down, nose touching the ground, and I want you to, lifting up, reach overhead, hold that. We're gonna do 10 of these. And release gently, and up again, two. And again, three. And four. Five. Breathe, 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 breathe. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Good. Go ahead and stretch that out back into a child's pose. Now go ahead and transition to your butt. I need you in a boat pose. This is where 
We start to work out the abs a little bit more today, reaching legs up, arms up, and hold for three breaths. Boat pose right here, two, and three. Go ahead and lower down to a hollow body, and I need you to pulse here for 10. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo! It's hard to talk while doing those, guys. I'm trying to make it look easy, but I don't know if I pulled it off. Feet down, bridges. We're going 20 bridges on both feet. Here we go. Lifting up. Squeeze the tush and lower down without touching the floor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you notice I'm making tiny little adjustments. Nine, pushing my feet out just a little bit more. 10 or inching in. I want you to do the same thing. We've got 10 more. So if you're feeling like a tension anywhere in your knees or if your shoulders are feeling funky, if something's feeling funky, I want you to kind of wiggle around in this movement until you find that sweet spot for your body. Like we keep talking about always experiment with your workouts. So something that works for me might not necessarily work for you in the same form. Find the version that works for you. And last one, hold it up and squeeze it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Nice, and then release. Let's go to sit-ups. Arms out and rolling up through the spine. We're only doing 10 of these. If you could put your hands to your head, do it. Three. Inhale, exhale, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Now we're going to go into table pose. Keeping your hands here, you can put your palms down on the ground, fingertips pointing towards your feet or away from your feet. Find which one's more comfortable, which one feels better. I'm gonna go away from my feet because it's opening up my chest more. And I did upper body yesterday, so I need a little bit of extra stretch through my pecs and biceps. So lifting your hips up, I need you to make yourself into a nice tabletop. We wanna see washboard abs, hips up, straight lines. If you could see yourself in the mirror, check your work. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then release. Nice work, guys. Now from here, extend your legs out. We're going to a seated twist. Take this leg up, grab that, hug that knee in with your opposite arm, and then place your other hand down on the ground and assist the twist to go further. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale, and give me one more breath here. Inhale, and exhale. Go ahead and release that. Go to the other side. Hug that knee in with the opposite arm. Wrap it around. Hand goes down to the floor. Assist the twist to go further. Go deeper in the twist. Inhale, and exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. And one more breath, inhale. And exhale. And release that coming back to center. Great job today, guys. That's the end of energizing yoga. I hope you feel great and energized and ready to start your day or your next workout. I'll see you here again at Homebody.